me, Exodus chapter number 12. And uh, we'll start reading in verse number 1, I guess. Exodus 12, verse number 1. And uh, if you're saved tonight, I want you to pray for me that the Lord would uh, just uh, just feed us from this. From uh, he, he knows what we need. He'll spread the table. and uh, I, uh, I can give you, if I, had, if I had the words to say to maybe make you feel better, that wouldn't help you a bit spiritually. And uh, amen. I could come up with all the nice words and if I had a vocabulary to do that. Uh, but uh, we need that manna from on high. Amen. We need that bread of life. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Yes. And I'm glad I know him tonight. Amen. Exodus 12 and verse number 1. The Bible said, The Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, in the tenth day of this month, uh, they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next to his house yeah. take it according to the number of souls. Every man, according to his eating, shall make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. Ye shall take it out of the out from the sheep or from the goats, and ye shall keep it up to the fourteenth day of the same month. And the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening, and they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper door of the houses wherein they shall eat. And they shall eat the flesh and that night roast with far and unleavened bread and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw nor sodden it all with water but roast with fire. His head with his legs and the pertinence thereof. Just a few more verses. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning. And that which remaineth of it until the morning, ye shall burn with fire. And thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. And he said, For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast, yeah. against all the gods of yeah. Egypt. I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, well, I'm thankful for that. He said, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. That's all that I want to read tonight. Uh, dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, God, for I let us be here together again tonight, God. And Lord, I pray, God, that Lord, that you upon me. And for Lord, I know I'm nothing, God. And Lord, God, I'm just dust to the ground. And Lord, clay in your hands. And for God, I pray that you would anoint me that fire. And Lord, from heaven tonight, Here tonight, oh God, that Lord that don't know you, that somebody, oh Lord, that's in their sin, that Lord save them tonight, God, in the name of Jesus, we do pray, and amen, and amen, now, that man, the Bible here is telling us, a brother of a time that, and then the death angel was about to come through the land of Egypt, and we read the
this month yeah. and you're going to have the Passover. Amen. But he said on the tenth day, amen, you'll take yeah. this lamb yeah. and you'll bring this lamb. Right. Amen. Right. And you'll hold it, yeah. and brother, till the fourteenth day. Right. And brother, you'll slay that lamb. Yeah. And brother, it'll be a memorial. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. what God done yeah. for you. Oh. And down the land of Egypt. Yeah. But brother, that faithful night. At that night down in Egypt, yeah. and then God said, yeah. and there's going to have to be blood said, yeah. and you're going to have to get in the house. Yeah. And do you know what God's are saying today? And you've got to get in the house. Yeah. And you've got to stay in the house. Yeah. And my brother, we ain't here forever. And for this life only, yeah. I've got hope in Christ. And we give all men. Yeah. And most yeah. men yeah. say, so yeah. but I'm glad today. Oh. 
much longer, Mama. How much longer, Daddy? It ain't gonna be long. Man. It ain't gonna be long. Man. And at midnight, Pharaoh finds that death has come to Egypt. And he goes down and he tells old Moses, Hey man, you and Aaron, get your people. Hey man, get out of here. Hey man, you know what I'm gonna wait on? I'm gonna wait for Moses. Hey man, anybody in here ever had hardship? Anybody in here ever faced hard times? Anybody in here ever feel like quitting? Amen. Let me remind you that there is a payday at the end of the road. Let me remind you amen, that there is a payday. Amen. That you talked about. Amen. The house ought to be full. Amen. Charlie looked over at me. He said, if she's the only one down here, it'd be worth coming down here. I'm not going to have to say amen. Glory to God. Just quit. I'm not going to preach too long. The devil's going to tell some of you. Amen. You're just laid down. Stay at the house. He's told some of that. And brother, they've heard and they've listened. Amen. But I want to remind everybody. Amen. Encourage everybody. That a few more hours. And it's going to be over. Amen. Just a few more hours. And it's going to be over. And to see what Moses did. Amen. Moses. Amen. He told them how to kill the lamb. They lay him forever house. Amen. Told them what to do. Amen. They she said, eat all of it. I don't leave nothing. Don't leave the furniture up. Amen. Eat all of it. Now, you know what I want to do tonight? Now, while I'm in this house, I want to eat all of Christ. That goes right to him. He said, here, take. And this is my body. And take. And this is my blood. He said, I am the bread of life. He that eats of me. Moses said, kill the lamb. Kill the lamb. Come on. Take the blood. Take the blood. Put it on the side post. Yeah. Put it on the lintel. On the lintel. Amen. Amen. What about when the Lord takes that vial? Amen. I can say I can preach it this way tonight. A few more days of praying. A few more hours of praying. You don't stay with it, God ain't never gonna pour it out. But I wonder if it ain't the next prayer you pray is what brings you young to Amen. Amen. A few more hours in the house. Amen. Amen. But I'm gonna tell you something tonight. Amen. I'm not looking for the world to get no better. And I'm not looking to make a million dollars. And I'm not looking to do this and that. I'm gonna tell you what I'm looking for. I'm gonna look at the eastern side. And maybe I feel like tonight. Prophet. 
You can't want to hear it again. And the Bible said Moses told him exactly what to do. How to kill that lamb. But one day, their king come meek and lowly. Riding on a coat with a hole of an ash. And brother, their king come in there. Amen. You think the king of Egypt? That man was going to kill it. I threw up himself up for Egypt. He no. wasn't going to do that. No. I could Moses offer up himself I, for the Hebrews. He couldn't do that. No. I, but one day a man come into Jerusalem. I, I, amen. And they, they said, tear this temple down. Yeah. And, and in three days, yeah. I'll raise yeah. it up again. Yeah. And it took 46 yeah. years I, to build this temple. Yeah. I, but brother, he wasn't talking about that. Amen. The Bible yeah. said, Amen. I, but he went down. Yeah. Somebody said, one day you're going to hear a voice that you've never heard before. I don't, I don't really say it that way. <laughs> one day I'm going to hear the same voice that I heard that Sunday morning. Sit back there in the pew. That was the call of my name. Amen. So I said, I wonder how Lazarus felt. Because I can tell you how Lazarus felt. I heard a voice. I called my name. And said, come forward. And brother, I come out. So few hours left in the house that the Lord's will come. I believe it. Paul believed that. Yeah. Amen. I mean, most Christians have believed that all, the, all throughout the years. Well, we're closer today than we yeah, ever have been. Yeah. And I'm telling you, child of God, a few more hours. And when the cry comes through Egypt and death is in every house and in every field. We'll be glad we stay in the house. Yeah, yeah. We'll be glad they stay with holiness. Yeah. Amen. Stay with living right. Yeah. Stay with old time preaching. Yeah. Amen. Stay with this King James Bible. Yeah. And brother, after a few more hours in this house, yeah. we'll leave it here. 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 Yeah. 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 But this ain't my home. Yeah. One of these days, I'm leaving yeah. here. Yeah. And again tonight, if you don't know God, there's coming a day. There's coming a day when all the dead, both small and great, are going to stand before God. Hey man, you sound like a pretty good person. I'm a pretty good woman. I'm a pretty good man. You may feel that way until these books are and the books are going to be open and man shall be judged according to the things 
that are written in the books. Right. And then, there's going to be another book open. Well, what book's that, preacher? Well, John saw it one day. And he began to weep. And when he heard that search was made throughout all heaven, and search was made throughout all earth and under the earth, and no man was found worthy. But then he said, but don't weep, John. The mind of the tribe of Judah has prevailed. prevailed. That book's going to be open. Yeah. And every one that's not found written in that book is going to be cast in the lake of fire. So, friend, today I want to ask you tonight, amen, if you're here and you don't know about the Lord, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Amen. I want to I want to encourage the child of God tonight that it ain't going to be but a few more hours. Ain't going to be but a few more hours. Amen. A few more hours. Suffer will be over. Amen. You'll never make another trip to the hospital. Never be another ambulance. Go down the road with the sirens of learning. Amen. Never be nobody get that call. Amen. If they're young and got killed in the car wreck. Amen. There'll never be another one of them. And God's going to wipe all tears from our eyes. Just a few more hours. Just a few more days. Ain't no time to quit now. Amen. But if you're lost here tonight, it's just going to be a few more hours. It's just going to be a few more days. And judgment's coming. Judgment's coming. So tonight, with every head bowed and every eye closed, amen. Brother, if you want to play something on the guitar, it'd be good. Amen. This